Check out what I just discovered. Three position switch. Another lathe. I'm not sure if this is number 14 or number 15. Oh, this lathe has a story behind it. And I just got it out of the back of my truck. Maybe this is the back of the truck special, but it's just too cold and too dark to be outside. So this belongs to a former employee and a friend of mine. He got sick with diabetes over the years. He can no longer play with any of his toys. I bought this lathe. I plan on cleaning it up. Actually, these are pretty nice. This is a tag. And, um, ooh, yeah, that broke, of course. I need to get belts. And uh, I don't know why the motor's so far away. Might have to look into that. And it's got a four jaw chuck. Needs a little bit of a uh, little bit of cleaning up. The thing's been, I think, out in a shed or in a basement. I'm not sure, and it needs cleaned up. So there's a receipt in here. Luna O two pack. Ah, so this is an O-ring receipt. It's O-ring drive back in 2004. So we know, the, we know the lathe had wore out O-rings on it in 2004, so it's older than that. So we've got a couple of uh, Allen wrenches. Ooh, that's really rusty. But that's to fit there. This is to fit the... Oops, I don't know why that goes. This also fits the tailstock. And uh, let's see, Micro Lathe 2, model 4500. Sealed bearing, three quarters, sixteen SAE spindle nose, uh, ten weight motor oil. So it's got a chuck with some soft jaws in it. The spindle feels really good. I don't see any run out in it, so hopefully this has never been dropped or anything. Ooh, it's like a banana. <clears throat> been a little over torqued. I think that was just in my truck. And I don't know if this is metric or SAE. Cross-side turns, cross -side turns. Now here's the lock for the tail slide, for the tail post. Yeah, so. It's really not in bad shape, but it is kind of uh, a little rough. It needs to be cleaned up. A lot of things do. Uh, let's see. The uh, carriage. Mm. Boy, the carriage doesn't want to move. I haven't used this uh, Gibbs yet to break up something loose, so let's use it on here. Really, this is just my kind of my get it home and evaluate it. We'll see what this does to this rust. Somebody said it'll eat it off, but I have my doubts. We'll see. Hopefully, that'll uh, get in here and break that loose. I could move this cross slide over and see if there's a hole. Got to be a hole in here. I think this reads out in metric too. I don't really know. Oh, I see it's got a uh, it's got a carriage stop. <laughs> That's interesting. Not micrometer. There it is. And it feels like a fine little. Oh, okay. There's the end of the end of the travel. I don't know if there's a hole that goes down to the... I 
There we go. Got that threaded back. I need to take it all apart and clean it up properly. T A I G, tag. Even got a cool lamp with it. Okay, so here's the motor. We got a quarter horse 1725 RPM, uh, non reversible Dayton split phase motor. Tailstock, I don't know if that's tightened down or just rusted. Oh, well, it was tight. There we go. Let's give that a little shot. Okay. Notice everything's got T slots, so I can mount something here if I wanted. Mount something on the cross slide. Um, you can even perhaps use those to mount the head somewhere. Hmm, let me get back here. A little sponge sander. So yeah, there it is. The Tag Micro Lathe 2 in the crafted workshop. We'll have to see uh, see what comes of this. I've been interested in taking one of these uh, micro lathes and convert and putting a um, a compound slide on it. And trying to make myself a neat little small lathe. Um, this has got enough height here that I could probably put a compound slide on it just like it is. But I could also make a set of riser blocks. And I'm pretty sure I've seen online that they make riser blocks for these. Which give you, I think it's 20, 20 millimeters or maybe one more inch of throw. And um, so I think I might invest in a set of those. Or maybe make them, I don't know. Oh look, we got a little movement. Wow. I'm not going to drive it back over that rust. There should be clearance there, but I think I should clean that up first. In that little fine gear. We want to get that clean too. Check out what I just discovered. Three position switch. So this could have reversing internal in the motor. Let's plug it in and see what happens. It does have a grounded cord. Just for general purposes, I'll put a little piece of tape on there. Let's see what happens. Oop, throws the tape off. Does not reverse. Oh, that's too bad. But that's turning in the right direction to turn the spindle this way. I think we have something we can use here. I'll have to start uh, accumulating tooling for this. This actually might be a nice lathe to put uh, in the uh, uh, my little bat cave workshop. Although I think I would like to make a case for it where the motor is underneath the headstock and get this more compact. This has taken up an awful lot of space like this. Always like it when people give you the economics of uh, a new item in their shop, and so I always try to tell you what that stuff is. I paid $150 for the lathe, and how I evaluated it was, I saw that nicer looking ones that weren't as rusty um, were selling on eBay in the two and a quarter, 250 range, was probably the cheapest ones I saw sell. Um, so I offered her $150 for this one because it needs some cleaning up. If I just saw it advertised, would I run and get it for $150? Mm, I don't know, maybe. Um, but, you know, this was kind of uh, somebody I knew, and I'm helping her to clean up her estate a little bit. Uh, so, so that's why that's why I got it. That, and I had the sickness. I just love lathes. We'll give this one some love at some point, and try to make a, uh, a neat little lathe out of it. I'd really love to build a cabinet and do an undermotor, you know, mount it in a tray, and, and just... Just take it too far. <laughs> we'll see what happens. This has been Dave on the Crafted Channel. If you like videos like this, like, share, subscribe. It makes a difference to know that lots of eyeballs and lots of ears are hearing and enjoying uh, what I'm working on. We'll uh, continue to show you how the shop evolves. Get your hands dirty. Get something done. Do something every week in your workshop if you can. We'll see you on the next one.